When it comes to seaside destinations, there's one location that attracts us Brits more than anywhere else on the planet. With an amazing climate, beautiful coastline and rich, diverse history, it is no surprise that people flock to the shores of the Mediterranean. Bordered by Europe, Africa and Asia, this sea in the middle of the land has a coastline stretching 28,000 miles and attracts a staggering one-third of the world's international tourists. But there is so much more to this place than just summer holidays. It's somewhere people love to call home. I mean, can you imagine waking up over there with a view like this every single day? On my journey around this diverse region, I'll explore the fascinating architecture. I mean, this is an extraordinary space. Everywhere you look, there's these incredible framed views. Get hands-on to experience life as a local. Right, OK, rose petals, rose petals, rose petals. And meet the lucky people with truly amazing homes by the Med. I'm noticing a rather finely located hammock. Uh, you've actually got to book a spot for it in the <laughs> summer months. <laughs> this week, I'm in France on the dazzling Côte d'Azur where simple facades reveal sensational views. Painted palaces hide Mediterranean masterpieces. And epic houses connect ancient history and Hollywood glamour. The Bridget Bardot has swam in that pool. Yes. You've got Roman ruins, you've got Bridget <laughs> Bardot. I mean, it's all here. <laughs> Côte d'Azur gets its name from the blue colour of the water that gently laps against the shoreline. It's known for its glitz and glamour, and the French Riviera has been the playground for the rich and famous since the 18th century. Located in southeastern France, the Côte d'Azur stretches 150 miles from Marseille in the south to the border with Italy. It's a coastline that oozes sophistication from Monte Carlo, Monaco through Cannes, right down here to Saint-Tropez. Bringing me stealthily ashore is a luxury motor launch that befits a James Bond movie. And I could certainly imagine the super spy sipping martinis on board the super yachts moored here. Once a simple fishing town, saint Trop, as it's known, shot to fame in the 1960s as Hollywood descended on this coastline for festivals and film shoots. And their influence is clear to see today. Despite the best efforts of super yachts and supercars to monopolise your attention, you can't help but notice the beauty of the townscape. Lovely, pastel-coloured buildings, very tall and narrow, clustered together with beautiful southern French shutters. It creates a wonderful backdrop upon which is played out the theatre of the super-rich. Underneath the townhouses, chic harbourside cafes do brisk business, ideal spots for gazing enviously at the privileged aboard their floating palaces. But it's tremendous properties, not people watching, that's lured me to the French Riviera. The first fantastic home on my Côte d'Azur agenda lies around six miles northeast across the Bay of Saint-Tropez in the town of Les Isambres. Hidden away behind sliding wooden gates and concealed by lush foliage, is a low-key home of white rendered walls and dusky pink pantiles. From the street side, there are intriguing hints of this home's beautiful details. 
but it's only when you're through the front door. Hello, John. Hi, Charlie. Welcome. Wow, that's not what you expect, is it, from the front of the building? That this property's true splendor reveals itself. Oh, look at that. A view to take your breath away. It's a home that's been designed to maximize that wondrous scenery, with 24-foot-high floor-to-ceiling windows running along the seaward-facing facade. It was built three years ago by John Brash, who runs a brand agency that gives top companies desirable identities, something he's achieved with this home. It's quite modern, uh, quite linear, quite bold in interior with just great views, and it was the view that we were really trying to get. Everything's really about the view. I didn't really expect that from the outside because it looks single story and quite low key. Absolutely. <laughs> That's not low-key, is it? Look at that. Well, that's the surprise we were wanting when we did it all. Something that was very understated and then, wow, you get the big view. Nothing here distracts from that visceral external experience. On the upper floor, three deliberately unassuming bedrooms employ simple white walls and furnishing. Natural elements such as rich Bosnian oak panelling provide an injection of warmth to the minimalist spaces. It's a very stripped palette, isn't it? Very simple, classy materials. Lovely. That wood is great, the way it comes through, just sort of as a frame. But it keeps that beautiful line of the floor. Comes down, and then you've got this lovely panel by the stairs. Are these cement tiles? No, they're, they're just ceramic tiles, actually. They look like cement, but they're just fantastic. And again, it's really important in the summer that they actually keep the, the, the whole place rather cold, which is quite nice. And I think it was about for us just picking simple materials that were just good quality. You've got this white plaster, but even when you've introduced texture, it's done in a very controlled way, isn't it? Absolutely. While the interiors may be restrained, the split-level open-plan layout makes it the perfect place to let your hair down. Different times of the year with different groups of friends visiting us, the whole place just comes alive and that's what the excitement is about. That You've got a lovely, almost like canvas in here and, and life is the energy. I think we've just discovered the perfect excuse for mess, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's the mess that makes the house. Absolutely. Like <laughs> but also you've got this great level change here. You've really exploited the site, haven't you, to get that working. The lounge leads down to a kitchen of oak-fronted cabinets with a contrasting island of black glass. This all flows out seamlessly to a patio and pool area. Pool with the infinity edge. Absolutely. Just made for kicking back and relaxing. As well as the spectacular scenery, the terrace is also the place to appreciate the architecture of this home which had to marry contemporary styling with the more traditional vernacular of the surrounding Riviera villas. We made sure that both the, the flat roof there is pan tile and the garage roof is pan tile in there. And obviously the render on the building as well is not pure white, it has that local feel there. And it's really trying to make sure it's not this glass box that you're just dropping into the middle of this wonderful area. Vast oak louvers help frame the facade, offering shade from the summer sun while cleverly doubling as balconies for the bedrooms. It's a simple, subtle feature that contributes a natural softness to contrast the home's sharp, angular features. So I can imagine that you get these beautiful moving shadows through the day from those louvers. Absolutely. I mean, it's fantastic that from the morning to the evening it changes and it just casts this lovely shadow which just adds lovely shading because it can be quite intense with the sun in the height of August. There's a calming serenity to this home that's hard to beat. And with its sunken barbecue and pizza oven, this is as much about living outside as it is inside, something appreciated by John's son, Noah. It's nice um, when it's summer when it's hot and then you can go in the pool. Yeah. Then and it refreshes so much. And then the barber is right next to the pool, so... Swim, eat, yeah. swim, eat, swim, yeah. eat, swim, swim, eat. Yeah. 
But it is lovely when you have a house like this and you get a chance to really get to know an area and there's so much to see, isn't there? Somewhere yeah. like, you know, like this. Yeah, every time we come, we see new things and it's just exploration. And I think as the children are all learning French, so hopefully <laughs> um, my uh, cuisine will get better in restaurants and stuff like that as we move forward. So You'll be a proper local family. Absolutely. Well, here's to that. Cheers. 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 Well Cheers. With stunning views and relaxed lifestyle, the lure of the Côte d'Azur is already evident.